I haven't actually booted this up yet. So it should basically be completely stuck. And for whatever reason, it says that it... Yeah. <laughs> so, I am actually using a computer that hasn't really appeared on... That hasn't really appeared on in any of my videos in, like, 11 months. <laughs> and that is the MSI Prestige 14 Evo A11M629. So, yeah... I'm... Upon first startup, there are some issues, and so, well, you have to go into here and then just deal with some of those stuff. And, for whatever reason, yes, it does have a background set, but, uh, it's, but it's only set the background from memory. And, if you're wondering, can you do the same thing that you did? in the, um, and can I try to pull up the same trick? No, because that was removed. There's tons of different neat backgrounds, and, but for this video, <laughs> so there's quite a few different changes uh, from this, I mean, in this version compared to its predecessor, which is Steelwise <laughs> 2.3. Also, if you hear me cropping more in this video, <coughs> I apologize now because most programs in this are don't really need the keyboard. So we're gonna start with Memo, and kind of the reason why is because of the fact that it's basically the oldest SteelOS program, dating back all the way to early alpha builds of SteelOS 1.0. <coughs> as early as build 41, which was compiled 21 builds, no, uh, compiled 20 builds after <coughs> the first, <coughs> after the first usable build was released, or was compiled. That being build 21. Anyway, it's seen a bit of changes here, such as a lock. Ah! We still have the Times New Roman font, but we. have some keys actually, some more keys actually usable. <coughs> so then we also have. <clears throat> paint, which has seen a bit of an upgrade. We have more colors. <coughs> also, we have some tooltips here. Okay, I can't really... I can't draw all that well.
And yeah, one thing that is kind of interesting about this is that though it's 64 bit, it's uh, even though it's a 64 bit runtime, it's running off of a 32 bit kernel, <clears throat> which has led to this operating system being called quote unquote 48 bit. Because really, the only 64 bit part of this operating system is the runtime that it runs off of. Mm. You know, let's just, you know, let's just pause, you know, let's just go to the music player and let's put on some music. We'll just put on this track. I'll just point screen. But we can't do that or open the web browser. We have a clock which you can't drag around. <clears throat> At least not yet. As you can see, we have a setup thingy. And we have an... We have an old thingy here. Because, like, this isn't really properly optimized. I mean, this, if, I mean, digging into some of the more technical aspects, this is running off of a... This is running in a 960 by 540 resolution. <coughs> well, what I've heard about the... about SteelOS 4 is that it's running... is that it'll run in a 720p resolution. Interestingly, you've got some bugs, so there might be a service, there may be a set of patches released later. You've got the mail program, which, um, in Japanese, uh, well, no, not the actual program. You've got this stuff. And on the topic of internet stuff, we have an updated web browser here. Um, let's just go... Let's just go... Zero, one, four. This is a website. We have a piano which hasn't been updated. We have a PDF reader. We have this Getting Started program, which outlines some of the features that are new in this release. We have a calculator here.
which is still buggy. I have a feeling I'm I'm gonna be called down for dinner soon. We have a quicker game. <coughs> I'm pretty sure I've got a pretty good a pretty good score on this before. In the beta. But we have a photo gallery here. Which has a which has seen quite a bit of upgrade. As we do not have the as we do not have to hit a key in order to actually exit out the slideshow, we've got this button that literally is tucked that's tucked into the corner here. Uh, that only appears when you actually get close to it. But as you can see some of this is a little cut off. And then we have the marketplace, which basically allows us to install programs. Also, not to mention the file browser, which I haven't really shown here. This takes us to there. Then we also have this what's new thingy and also some other PDFs. And this thingy allows us to categorize things and and while there is some and it's kind of buggy and <laughs> so we're gonna go install a few programs here. I'm gonna do these one by one because otherwise it'll glitch the installation bar. Still a few more programs. Uh, now, for one thing, I'm not going to demonstrate these programs because, well, <laughs> they're not very significant. And, well, given the fact that, like, a video about Photoshop got, like, 41 views or so, Imagine trying to cover one of these programs. Now I now there were supposed to be many more programs, uh, but uh, but they but unfortunately due to time constraints, uh, a lot of the programs that were supposed to be in here got had to be cut. And, But this is one program that I'm going to cover in here because a little bit. Because you know how they when the hitting a specific key combo, NM7 would trigger a, would give you a, would present to you an Anami Madobe background, which would also, that would save itself to the, to the now obsolete memory system that was introduced in Studio Watch 1.0. But anyway, we've got, uh, we've got the Nanami Madobe backgrounds, and then we also have, uh, these, I mean, the, uh, Windows 8.1 OS hands. And, well, yeah, this background actually appeared in, um, this background actually appeared in more, I mean, actually appeared in, in later beta, in, in later 
builds in 1982. And well, funny enough, we also have something that didn't actually get used. This pinned menu. Because, <coughs> well, this didn't actually... It, it was supposed to be a main menu, an option in the main menu, but yeah, we'll just... Um... Uh, you know what? We are going to do this. You, now, even though the system is in a state where you, uh, which, technically speaking, I can still move the mouse because this crash screen, this means that the system isn't in too bad of a state. Mm. Also, the fact, I mean, also this crash screen kind of makes me think that I'm using an iPad with a keyboard. But, this basically, re but now we're rebooting the system, <coughs> and I'm going to shut this down. And this was all developed in 2023. So yeah. And with that, and in order to actually get out of this, you know, you I'm pretty sure not that if any average person is just going well, and just finds this video and has heard of the uh, old, old, old F4 trick, how you close out of this, you just say Alt F4. <coughs> and yeah, I'm going to shut this down. And with that, thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Bye.